Hello everyone. In today's video, we will talk about past simple of regular verbs. Uh, how do we form past simple uh, question, negative and positive form? I hope you'll understand the explanation. Okay, in the end of this video, I expect from you to listen and read about other people and discuss information regarding to personal life and activities they did. Also, to understand and apply the pronunciation rules for ED endings in past forms of regular verbs in oral discrimination activities. Okay, uh, the past simple, you can call it also simple past, is the same, with regular verbs. We make the past simple just that, like the present simple, except we use did instead of do, so the past simple of do or does. It's really easy because did doesn't change, even with he, she, or it. It remains the same. So the positive form is, we usually make the positive by adding ed to the infinitive. For example, play becomes played, stay, stayed, listen, listened, etc. In the negative, there aren't any irregular verbs. All verbs use did not or didn't plus infinitive. So it's the same for regulars and irregulars. Negative of full form, I did not walk. Short, I didn't walk. You did not play, you didn't play. He did not cook, he didn't cook. She did not listen, she didn't listen. It did not rain, it didn't rain. We did not eat, we didn't eat. They did not drink, they didn't drink. So this is full form and short form of regular verbs in negative. Question form. Questions are also very easy in past simple. You just put did before the subject and the infinitive after it. Here are the yes no questions. So if someone asks you, did I walk or did you walk? You can answer shortly like yes I did or no I didn't. So did you play? Did he cook? Did she listen? Did it rain? Did we eat? Did they drink? When we use WH questions, of course, we put them in front of the sentence or in the beginning of the sentence. For example, where did I go? What did you play? What did he cook? Why did she listen? When did it rain? Where did we eat? And how did they travel? The question is, how do we pronounce the ED in the end of the regular verbs? The answer is in three ways. We can pronounce it id, t, and d. So look at the table that gives you the idea uh, how do we pronounce it and in which cases do we pronounce it id, t, and d. So read the table and understand in which cases are these three pronunciations used. Okay, you have the example base verb, you have the example with ed, and the pronouns of the ed in the end of the verb. Okay, so now you will listen the pronunciation, actually the three ways of the pronunciation of ed in the end of the verb. Listen and repeat. Unit 3, Students Book, page 31. Exercise six, listen and repeat. Answer, answered, happened, happened, love, loved, stay, stayed, Ask. Asked. Cook. Cooked. Help. Helped. Like. Liked. Miss. Missed. Talk. Talked. Watch. Watched. 
hate, hated, invent, invented, visit, visited. Okay, uh, here we have uh, the way how to form verbs in the past simple because some of the verbs change before we add ed in the end of the verb. So when forming any of the past simple, you need to add ed, as we said before, to the end of the verb. The rules for this are quite simple and easy to follow. Below, uh, I have included examples for each rule. So let's see. Verbs that end in y without a vowel before the final consonant, the y changes into i and then we add ed. So if it has a consonant before y, then y changes into i, like carry, carried, cry, cried, try, tried, fry, fried, study, studied. Verbs that end in an e drop the final e, then add ed. So like hope, hoped, dance, danced, believe, believed, smile, smiled. So we don't double e, we drop one e. Most verbs, you just add ed, like open, opened, visited, visit, visited, listen, listened, happen, happened, play, played, stay, stayed, enjoy, enjoyed. When there is one syllable verbs that end with one vowel and one consonant, we double the consonant and add uh, ed. Like jog, jogged, stop, stopped, hope, uh, hop, hopped, sorry, plan, planned. So you double the last consonant before you add ed. Here we have some practice now using past simple of regular verbs. What you're going to do now is in exercise seven, there are two verbs, read the text and circle the correct verb. Take some time. Okay, let's see if you circle the right ones. So, number two is watched, number three is missed, number four is liked, number five is helped, number six is looked, and number seven is talked. In exercise eight, here is a dialogue between Seb and Emma talking about their past activities. So try to complete the dialogue with the correct form of the verb. You have the verbs in the brackets, and put them into past simple form. Take some time. Okay, let's see if you got them right. Good. So the second one is visited. The third one is did you watch? The fourth one is I didn't watch. The fifth one is did she cook? The sixth one is didn't like. And the last one is hated. Okay, now you're going to listen uh, to, an, to a dialogue actually, uh, talking about different people. What you're going to do there is, you're going only to correct the false sentences. Here are five sentences. Okay, the first one is done. So some of them are true, so you're not going to do anything about them, but some of them are false, so you're going to correct them. Let's listen. Three, students book page 31, exercise 10. Listen again, correct the false sentences. One. Did you watch TV last night? Yes, I did. I watched Jim's talk show. Did he talk to Lady Gaga? No, he didn't. He talked to the winner of the Million Pound Quiz Show. Two. 
Chris, did you watch the new drama series last night? No, I didn't. I visited my grandma. Did you like it? Yes, I did. 3. What happened in the cookery show last night? Did the red team cook fish? No, they didn't. They cooked pasta. 4. I watched the documentary last night. Did they visit Zambia again? No, they didn't. They visited South Africa. 5. Did you watch the cartoons? No, I didn't. I watched the soap opera, R Street, with my mum. Oh no! I like that programme and I missed it last night. Did Liam answer Yvonne's question? Yes, he did. Okay. You listened to it and probably you understood which ones are false, which ones are the correct ones. Let's see if you got them right. Okay. So, number two is not correct. Chris watched the new drama series last night. He didn't watch the new drama series last night. He visited his grandma. The third one is correct. The fourth one is not. The people in the documentary visited Zambia. They didn't visit Zambia. They visited South Africa. And the last one is correct. In the soap opera, Liam answered the question, so it's correct. For homework, you're going to complete page 30 in activity book. Okay, this was all about today's video. Uh, I hope you understood the past simple forms of regular verbs and see you in the next video.